Hi and welcome to Linux in under 5. Today we're going to be talking about nested commands. This is a, a way to allow you to run one command inside another command. Um, that way you can use the output from one command to complete the next command or the current command. Um, what we're going to use in this tutorial is um, the basic date and time command to name a file. Um, in our case we're going to be naming a log file based on the current date. Um, in Linux there's a command called date that returns this. And obviously you can't use this inside a file um, due to just the character limitations and all that kind of stuff. So we can format it um, using the date command. We can use uh, we can do plus and then you use um, percent sign m and dash percent sign d dash percent sign uh, capital Y. And what this is going to do is it's going to change the format and it's going to use uh, month, day, and then um, year. And if we hit enter, it's just going to return something back that's you know readable and, and can be put into a file name. So what we can do is we can run this command within another command. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, cat the messages file and we're going to output it into the folder that we're currently in and we're, we're going to name it messages underscore the current date dot out. So we're going to run cat var log messages and we're going to redirect using the greater than sign to a file and what we're going to do is we're going to type in messages underscore and this is where the nested command comes in we're going to use the backtick command which is right above the tab key and to the left of the one key and this is uh, use the uh, tick command to start the command um, or the tick symbol to start the command and now we're going to enter the command and when we're finished we'll use the tick command to finish it or tick symbol to finish it so we're going to type in um, date or we can actually just copy and paste the command that we wrote up here and okay and now we can uh, finish the command with the tick symbol so right here it's going to name the file messages and then run this command and put the output of it inside inside there and then we can finish it with dot out now when, when we run this it's going to name the file um, exactly what we want son of a bitch I am not root. So, let's <laughs> let me sudo again. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. And <laughs> there's the uh, there's the file that we wanted. Messages underscore o two o six two thousand ten. So there we go. And we can cat it if we want, just to make sure. So we got everything that we needed. So that's how you run a nested command. Um, just a simple simple output from it. Another. Um, useful uh, way of using the uh, nested commands is the uh, uname and that's a it's a good way to um, if you have for example a, um, a a number of kernels on your system and you want to CD into for example the right um, the right modules directory for your kernel um, and if, in case you don't know you can do um, uname dash r <coughs> to get the current kernel that you're on the build and everything um, and you can run this command inside you know another command so you can do cd lib modules and then the uh, uname uname dash r and then do forward slash and this will cd into the directory so there it is now we're inside the modules directory and uh, we did it by issuing out the uname dash r so um, that's pretty much everything um, really need to know about nested commands right now. Um, we can get a lot more advanced if you want, but this is just a beginner tutorial. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you have any questions.